Hello my friends, Bayani here. In this video I'm gonna show you how to install a single pole thermostat. That is this guy here. Usually I like a double pole because the double pole you cut the power from the heater. This one, one wire is still alive. What we have in here, this one is carrying power to the thermostat. Both of them they are hot. This both wire they are black and white but they are both hot so they are 220. What to do here really doesn't matter how you do it. Work the same. Like the reason that I prefer to use the double pole thermostat because uh, you cut the current from a bolt wire because they are both hot. In this case, a single pole, you have a current going to the heater. The thermostat would turn off one wire, but the other wire is still carrying current to the heater. Very much like a light switch, how it's done. And make sure that you guys have the power off. I have the breaker off already. This case in here, the sold wire is a 14 gauge. In the whole house like that, uh, I've seen it before many times and this is what it is, we're not gonna replace all the wires and all that. So once you do it, just make sure this guy is real tight. So like you guys can see, this is hot wire too. So it is, uh, this one it goes straight to the old heater in there that we're gonna replace in the future for now. Still working good. So I connect this one, I'm gonna push it back like you guys can see. I don't have a place here for the ground wire, so it's just two wires coming out from this thermostat. So I'm just gonna push this guy right back. Then I'm gonna get this two. You guys can see this one is bringing the power, this one is going to the heater, right? I'm just gonna cut this guy a little bit short. Now let's see what is in here. Usually it come cover like that, but it, you just shake a little bit there to come off. And we have a few little screws, right? This one bring power. Just gonna connect it in there make sure it is real tight in there power goes in there it's just like a light switch nothing too crazy so here you go yeah just don't forget to turn off your breaker right and when you do it just make sure that is holding there good so here how you go power comes in and go out to, to the heat i'm just gonna push this all back in so in this case this one doesn't have the ground few little screws nothing too crazy there you go we just put the cover back on gonna turn on the power check to see if that guy gonna work i can show you here how the breaker would work this is a breaker that is off like you guys can see the two wires that are hot let me try my guess i believe this is the one that goes there so this is the any ampere breaker it's had a loose wire here because we not use them this one is for the dryer it's just off that way nobody turn it on because we not use the dryer okay let's check it out to see if it is work 25 with really hot let's uh just give it a minute yeah guys nice and warm I'm red. Sorry the heater is mess. I just just to show you guys that it work. I'm gonna turn it off because uh, we're gonna replace the heater and I don't know what is there. I'm just gonna go to off the brake. Oh, can't keep my hand in there. Hot man. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have question, comment, let me know. It's done very much if I can do it. You guys at home, you can do it. If you have any doubt how to do it, please get a, an electrician or somebody with uh, electrician knowledge to do your job. Uh, this is a little bit dangerous. The reason that I do it, because I've been doing this for a long time, but be careful, keep safe, I love you.